Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to go into the details of how to design this escapement, a grasshopper escapement designed by John Harrison. In this video I want to show you how to design this sketch and then design those parts and then combine those parts in this assembly. So that's the sketch. 120 diameter for the escape wheel, one part here, the other part across. Okay, let's start with a new sketch. Okay, do a circle, 120. The circle 90 that's going to be inside the pallet. That's going to be the center of my assembly. That's going to be where the first pallet comes. And then I'm going to put the pallets of the escape wheel to kind of have a, an idea where they, they will be. circular pattern already okay so first palette is here the next palette will be 9.5 space further apart so 12 degrees times 9.5 it's going to be 114 degrees so dimension like this, like this, put the, the angle I want. From that point, I can go to a line at 90 degrees. It's, yeah, exactly 90 degrees. And then where that line joins the vertical, I'm going to go take the middle of that angle. So. That is 57 degrees, half, 114 divided by 2, 57. And where that middle line joins that line I just did, that's going to be the pivot point of the pendulum assembly. Now putting the pivot points for the, the two pallets, 90 degrees again. Okay, so that's basically the layout for that grasshopper escapement. Now, I copied the sketch multiple times for all the different parts. So, here the palette put a 1.2 millimeters at the end. Make the spokes for the wheel so I'm going to extrude that first pallet and then do a circular pattern make 30 of those there it is that's now I have 30 bodies but when I Extrude the rest of the wheel, it just all combines. Now put a eight tooth gear at the bottom side. If you want to see, I'll put a link where I did a more complete escape wheel uh, tutorial. Get the pallets now. So the other copy of this first sketch, and then I put my pallets of 90 degree angle where it hooks up, and then yeah, yeah. And then this pallet I made it shorter, one two shorter. Actually, it just works just as well. Then I did a sketch on the side to cut off some extra material, and then I did a thread. Metric sys, 
modeled. So I can put the screws to as a weight, counterweight. Okay, that's for one, and then the other one, extrude, and then do this, and then the hole, and the thread, and that's it for the pallets. And then the top part of the pendulum, again, I started with that sketch, then draw that support, added a support for the springs that will push the pallets in place and then that's the pendulum to connect to the back and then the counterweight at the top right okay. extrude extrude there it is and then i'm just going to do that hole a little bit bigger that way i can bury a nut when i put the springs on. And then the frame, again, start with the sketch that I did, a copy of the sketch, and then do the layout, and then check the position for the next wheel that will power the escape wheel. Extrusion that okay, that's it for the frame. Now I have to assemble all the, everything. So I'm going to do a new sketch, blank sketch, save it, then I can right click and insert those parts as component and insert and move them, put them in place. Since I use the same sketch as a starting point, they pretty much fall right in place. Then the springs. Do it again. Then I need to turn it, so I set up the pivot point, click, set up the pivot point, and then unclick. Okay, now the wheel, the gear. See, when I zoom in, I can move it smaller increment. There it is, all in place. Now there's one thing I noticed, there's not much room here. I need to change things. So pivot this 10 degrees, then it hits the gear. So that's something to think about. But yeah, that's for the escape mount. That's it for today. There's going to be more coming. I will be publishing the, all the files when the whole clock is done. Uh, but that will take some more time. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and see you next time. Thanks. Bye.